Welcome to King Says So, a channel that advocates for one Africa, one land, one Africa, one language, one Africa, one currency, one Africa, one army. I wish to witness Africans all around the world united as one in our lifetime. Enjoy. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy King King053, Mr. Easy Imali Nengi and we're back at it again with another one. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone for tuning in, guys. It means a lot for me, uh, for you guys. Um, you know, there's so many YouTube channels, so many channels um, reporting on the same thing. Um, so many, um, uh, not many Pan-Africanist channels, but, you know, um, you are not limited to options in terms of um, content creators on YouTube. So I really appreciate for you guys tuning in and watching this a young black boy from um, South Africa and all that. So I really do appreciate it, guys. Uh, today I want to speak about the incident that happened in Irish gymnastic. I was watching the news and I saw the video and I was like, oh my goodness, these people never fail to disappoint. Eh? They just never fail to disappoint. So what happened is that um, there was an incident where a young little girl um, won a competition or end a medal in a competition and um what they did is they were giving a lot of girls um medals i'll play the video as i'm speaking they were giving a lot of girls their medals and obviously the the white female who was presenting the, the medals um decided to skip to skip the the poor no nah, not the poor uh, the gifted African child. Let's just quickly read and then um, I will come back to it. I'll post it up also. It says, A video showing a moment where a female sport official decided to skip a black girl who was amongst medalists at an Irish tournament has surfaced on social media. Yes, so this, this thing actually happened last year, okay? It says, The video which was said to have been t uh, taken in 2020, uh, let's see, why am I, in 2022, March showed, let me see guys, yeah, uh, shows a lineup of young gymnastic awaiting their award, which is medals, which uh, with the little girl, the little black girl, excitedly, are waiting for her medal before being overlooked as her white peers were each given an award so you know what you guys can i'll play the video for you guys and um let's see what the gymnastic iris said gymnastic iris said that it engaged with the woman who is now no longer a member of the sport body after she chose not to renew her membership. So she's no longer a, um, a member of, this, of, of the, the sport body because she chose not to renew her membership. She chose not. She was not fired. There is no punishment that is going to come to her because she chose not to renew her membership because of this beautiful incident that she did. The sport body said, the official consent said that uh, upon realizing the mistake, they, uh, they immediately re ratified it and ensured that the competitor consent was presented with her medal uh, before she left the field of play. Before she left the field of play. Not before she left the, med the, the, the medal um, ceremony queue where they were standing. No, they probably gave her this medal at the back of the in changing room or wherever or when the mother started raising the issue. Uh, you don't know. Before she left the field of play, it could have been at the parking of the, ca uh, of the cars. It's crazy. And now listen to what the official did. The official also expressed deep regret for what they described as an honest error. It was just an honest error, guys. 
No, she did not mean to skip the little black child that was standing there in front of her while she was giving each child a medal. This she she did not see this. This she was too black. She could not see her. That that is what they want. They want us to believe. You know, they don't want to name it as a racist um, incident. They don't want to. They don't want to. So. Um, as she describes uh, as an honest, just imagine, an honest error. It was just an honest error. And re requested the op uh, opportunity to apologize in person to the competitor and her family. The request was initially declined. You know, what, what, what type of parents will uh, will will want an a, 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 an apology from these racist people? This is just a PR moment. It's just a PR moment. You don't have to come and apologize to our face. Go on social media, make a a, a video apology, not a written apology, a video apology, so that we can study your body language, your facial expression, and your voice tone. We want to study those things so we can know if it is sincere or not. Then the, the, she goes, a written apology was provided by the identified individual, has since been issued to the competitor and her family. This, this is what happens, ladies and gentlemen. The family said they never received an apology directed to them. Of course, they, they, they declined the, the, you know, her coming to them and apologizing to the child. It's going to traumatize the child even more. This little beautiful um, African queen, African princess was, like, had to experience, I'm sure it was not the first time she experienced racism. Gymnastics is one of the, the sports where racism is, is, is up there. That's why they've got a problem with Samoa. You know, Samoa, she's, she's, she's killing it on the gymnastic in They had to sexually harass her and all of that, but you know, Let's not get into that. All I wanted to, to say in this video is that Africans, we only have each other to, to fall on. If we don't unite, if we don't fight, you know, it's not enough that this woman got an apology. She must go to court. She must be sentenced. She must pay a fee. Like, um, like the, the family must get something out of this. Because a sincere apology is something they're not going to get. They're never going to get it. She, she wouldn't mean that apology anyway. She wouldn't mean it. You guys keep on you guys keep on saying I keep on seeing color. These people see color clearly. I just want to wake you up. I'm just here to wake you up. Because the problem with Africans is that Africans want um uh, a wise man said, white people are lucky that Africans want equality and not revenge. And what Africans don't understand is that they, um, most Afri uh, white people don't want integration. They don't want to live with you. They don't want to compete with you. There was a time where um, 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 uh, a sport uh, analyst from America wrote that um, it is unfair for white people to compete with black people in sports, in, in athletics. He said black people should compete with black people and white people should compete with white people. You know, that's, that's how they feel, actually. They don't want to stay next door neighbors with you. They don't want to go to school with you. They don't want to share the sport field with you. It is only us that is forced into be, um, you know, uh, peacefully integrating with other people. They just don't want to do it. They keep on showing us every time. Every single time they're showing us. But, you know, I don't know. Africans are so loving and so forgiving. Um, sometimes it, it is to our own. Um, it, is, it hurts us more what we are trying to do. But anyway, you guys go in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this. I'm going to be doing another video. Um, you guys will be getting it uh, back to back after this one um, about Inzalo Yelanga. Inzalo Yelanga is a celebration. It's a place where a celebration of a new year takes place. I told you guys we must study the Ethiopian calendar. 
which is the full calendar that is an African calendar. Um, also the Egyptian calendar, which which uh, speaks with the South African calendar and how many months it has. Um, I'll, I'll be doing a video. If you are interested in stuff like that, I'll be doing a video on that. Okay, that will be next. And what the incident that happened there in at at in Zaloyolanga. In Zaloyolanga means the birthplace of the sun. Woo. Now African language has got just a a, a a a way of putting things. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, please subscribe. This is your home of Pan Africanist knowledge, where Africans love each other, where Africans want to live with each other, Africans want to help each other in the quest of one Africa, one land, one Africa, one language, one Africa, one currency, one Africa, one army, one Africa, one land, one Africa, one love. Everywhere where we see each other as Africans, we show each other love. Amanda, away to. Until next time, don't forget to pray and I salute you. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the content, leave your thoughts on the comment section and hit the like and subscribe button and we will meet on the next one.